Yeah, you got to be yellow. Why didn't he make knights and cast that? Well, he was going full scrum to kill me, right? His plan was that skirmishers, since I was going into crossbows, he used to mark it as well to go cast Lich. So his plan was that the skirmisher push would take me off gold, and then I cannot even make knights, right? And then no unit I can make can beat him. Sivlas? Or who? Okay, now I'm curious. Who, who has the Sivlas here, do you think? Adjective known? Who do you think has a civil loss in this matchup? Have I ever been a fan of your content since you started AO2 HD campaigns? You're the number one reason I got back into AO2 and I learned how to use hotkeys by watching you sick, Yanis. Thanks again for the sub and yeah, that's cool. Awesome to hear. Mines have civil loss? Oof. Based on what? What does uh, Vietnamese do against Agarlos? You have cheaper archers? You have better economy? Well, not better economy anymore. The economy is quite similar. Um, I'm not sure who I prefer in this matchup at the moment. I think I might still want Aztecs, honestly. But obviously Mayans have a lot of tools at their disposal. But I think the early imp is where... Uh, Vietnamese can struggle a lot against Mezzo. Because your only good options against Eagles is kind of Elephant. Rattans do okay, but I'm not sure if they are enough to win against Eagles long term. Monk resistant Ellis. Do people think though that resistance change has made such a big difference? Your elephants still get converted. I will never rely on elephants. Oh, look at that qualifier, main event 15 to 12, NAC.GG. Uh, what I will say though, Vietnamese have probably more initiative in the opening because they can open scouts, they can open archers, skirm, they can do whatever essentially in the opening. While mine's a bit more limited in that regard currently. Not a good thing for us in this case is we have elephants and not boars. It's a kind of a boost for mines whenever you have this because it's the same with goth right when you the more food you have on the huntables the better it is for your sieve when you have a hunt bonus same for mongols i get more food overall Actually, I might open my arms this game. Mines gets Axolotl. Can't argue with that. You do speak the truth. Maybe just a drush. I don't think men arms are that good these days. Maybe just do like a 2 militia drush or something, let's see. Mines not get Axolotl, that's incorrect, they do get Axolotl. Doesn't show here, but they do get it. Pretty sure. Redemption? No, they don't have redemption. But if you spawn with a stable on Mega Random, you have X Lot Warriors. Am I wrong? Oh, this is like if you did this in a tournament, he would lose the villager or two. Have food. Oh. I don't have enough food. And I'm gonna be housed. Oh, hello there. Greedy boy. Fine, you can push it. Let's try men at arms. It doesn't work very often these days. People are so good at dealing with it. Short walls, quick walls, range openings. But let's try. Mm. 
I don't want to have on the wall. We don't want to build walls on the hill because then he can get a hill bonus on his. Uh... Wait, I have a second board. <laughs> Should have probably taken that earlier. This could be good for me. Being stable. It's a tight build though. Cannot afford eco upgrades right off the bat. Hey! Stop cheating! Interesting passing there. They didn't get enough that much value there, but it was still okay. Yeah, be careful, don't get walled in. It's the only thing. But yeah, we got enough. I think we already got pretty good value here. Can we do the corner hit? We can. I'm not gonna do it. It feels cheesy. It feels wrong. The house feels wrong as well. Actually, archer number is more important. It's uh, Vils. Idle TC. Have you found the taco? I have not, by the way. Mm, this was a single lumber camp, at least initially. 24 more wood to overchop. Because. He's preparing to fight, though. He's sending Vils as well. I should have sent the spear forward. Should be one villager down. Do I not even get one? What does he stop for? Oh, I hate melee pathing. Uh, are those corners are easier since patch? I don't think so. I think that it's always been kind of easy like that. The good thing is he should not he should have had less wood in the opening. That would obviously ended up being a quite a bad trade for me overall. But there is a chance he doesn't have a range early enough to deal with my or like have a solid defense for my for my archers. We'll do that as well. Mine's actually maybe stayed in his bears after I saw he was going scouts. Now this has a success for my arm pressure. It could have been a lot better though. I mean, I got a bit greedy. Definitely got a little bit greedy. Going for villagers instead of just taking HP from the scouts. I'm fine with that. This is fine for me though. Okay, he has skirms. I think I lost two rails, but he lost most of his units. Most of his. Um... Lost most of his scouts. If I mix in maybe two eagles now, I can maybe go do some counter pressure. Let's see. Can't remember a time when I was not greedy. There. Just leave one spare at home just in case. Seems to be playing fairly open though, Sita here. So we can maybe do punishment by being a bit sneaky. 
or not, you know. We could also run straight into his army. That's always also an option. Who am I to judge? I think we go without upgrades here on the blacksmith. We just need to hit the cast stage timing. It's been a quite a horrible opening. You guys just didn't just kill me? I think I'm gonna sneak around again. I think I'm also gonna idle everything and just go up. Because we're in a dicey spot right now. Might even just go double barrack eagles, egalos, and hope for the best. Vietnam is the best sieve? Yeah, I wouldn't say they're best, but they're very good. Was that market price so expensive? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's coming to attack me. Maybe I should even do a fletching here. Honestly, it might even be worth. Oh, he did wall. You are not supposed to wall. Malay best even random map? Are they? Is there a world where I should just go counterattack? With my Agalos? I think there is a world where I should do that. We're living that world right now. I should probably force the issue a little bit here. This could hurt. This bill's always idle like this right now. Actually, this is better because now they won't idle. Interesting how that works. Someone wants to go cab archers, eh? Okay. That's kind of working out pretty nice. I have to say, the counterattack was definitely a good decision. He does not want me to end enter. I think I'm not even going to commit on Egalos. Right? We just go economy now. And then we adapt. It's gonna have a lot more army than us. But we did put some... Uh, what's the word? We put some breaks into his momentum. The timing, the momentum. Yeah, he definitely wants to play couches, right? So I gotta f figure out how I wanna approach this. We have to stop making Agalos and we need to make a counter unit to Cowarches. Probably will be Skirms, I guess. Or just Mass Crossbow. The issue is he already has a lot of Skirms alive. Actually, let's go Mass Crossbow again. It's a good... Cannot go wrong with Mines and Mass Crossbow. It means a special Skirm. Yeah, but his eco is set up now for... My logic here is that his eco is now set up for cow archers. He's expecting me to go Egalos. So this is why we now make a tech switch again. And we still have Egalos that will force him to stay a little bit behind. The only annoying thing is that he obviously will have a lot of mobility to do work. Potentially. To harass us and be annoying. Ballistics probably wouldn't hurt. Hoovering. 
Our regardless are hoovering indeed. My food equal is not paired though. I have three TZs, but I can't really produce. We didn't have horse color for the longest time. He has bloodlines, so it's obviously cowatchers. No surprise there. We're just building up numbers now. But these eagles are a throwaway army. Just trying to find value wherever we can. <laughs> it's open, bro. It's open right there. Just run through. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think it's time to prioritize range upgrades. Just gonna run through. I, mean, I have TC there. That is annoying though. I could idle my gold. I'm not sure why he's not doing it. I still actually don't think he knows that I'm doing crossbows. We should probably cancel those so we can do the upgrades. Live! I'm gonna have ballistics as well, so that should help. That's good. Now he has a choice. Does he switch to Skirms himself? To now counter my crossbow again. It's an interesting situation. There's been a lot of tech switching in this game. Still prefer overall character and their mobility, but I don't mind the situation I've ended up in, all things considered. Still don't have Botkinara though. I do mind that. Imp skirm against Javelin skirms. I don't think we're gonna end up in that situation, but it will be fun if we did. I don't have Botkin. Okay, he did elite skirm as well now, which means I need scorpions. Man, the amount of units we are, are there, have to, having to transition into this game. Kill this, kill it, kill it, kill it! What? Matisse didn't shoot. He's chasing me with Elite Skarm. He does wooden gold for Scorps. Yeah, yeah, like composition wise, I'm still very satisfied where I'm at. Currently. Okay, let's see where the skirms are. There they are. And the best part is he's still chasing my units, right? I'm just running around behind his base. He's reacting to me. Non-stop. He doesn't have plus two armor either. But even here, I'm getting an okay trade. I think we're happy here. Uh, Alejandro, thank you for the five months and the tier two subs. That's an extra tier. Thank you very kindly for that. Let's do handcart. And we're also we're ending up in a really good economic situation as well here. And this, oh my god, he's about to. Okay, he's not over chopping yet. Oh, he has a tease there. Never mind. Oh, the timing. The momentum. I want him to come and fight me somewhere. So we can maybe take advantage of the situation. That's still more than enough value. Okay, 
And we have another sneak attack coming. This is working out quite nicely, I would have to say. What? Four Castillo? That was not part of the plan. That one is annoying. I guess it's time to go imp. That is a little bit annoying, I'll be honest. Let's hope we're imp before him. Hurry! Love the Castillo. And that is the thing, I have to switch to Eagles here, right? Then I can make traps from... I can make traps from my castle and I can make Agalos and Hoover. This has so far been a game purely about decision making. Ratans. Oh, that one hurts. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, my woodlands are actually a little bit. He actually doesn't have ballistics still. That does surprise me. I ain't gonna lie. I need a castle up though before I hit the imp. I'm doing another castle here, but I might be able to do some work there. This is all expected. All part of the plan. Come on, Scorpions! I don't think my Scorps are fast enough. <laughs> you need that castle up very fast. He has really good castles, right? But can he deal with Imperial Egalos? That is the question. Why are my scorpions there? Let's -a go. I'm happy with this trade. My scorpions are actually getting value. This gold though is a problem. I need that gold. Kind of. Can obviously also kind of just ignore his army and go raiding fully. It is an option here. Maybe find an extra gold in the bottom somewhere. Just repairing that. If I can get El Dorado. Oh, we did find an extra gold. I can get El Dorado here. That's obviously massive. Yeah, Rotten's actually trade pretty okay against Egalos. That is a problem. GG? What? I guess he's expecting just to be raided too much. And I think once I have Eldorado, his eco is going to be toast anyway. I will clean this army up. It is weird that he resigned now. Like, if I was him, I would have definitely tried a little bit more. But I have 120 villager economy with Egalos. I can't afford Eldorado. 
and then I can spam Eagles Egalos forever. I still think Eg the Egalos would have definitely broken him, but it is a bit weird that he resigns. Yeah, he would like he would lose a lot of economy here. I probably, I'm thinking I would clean these castles as well. Once I just continue to add traps and Egalos, then I'll hoover around everywhere here. And again, he cannot. He has to decide here. Does he make traps or does he make retin archers? Right. To take these, he needs to make traps. But he needs also retin archers to fight my Agalos. So I think he's kind of just in trouble there. Like, I, I think it, it is a fair resignation. I think I have a big lead. The only sc reason the score is in his favor is because he killed a lot more units. I think I'm in a far superior spot.